Alright, I'm going to take you guys back in, uh, back in time here. When I um, ordered a uh, color chart here, and I was trying to decide between all of the colors. I've narr I narrowed it down to these colors, these pearls, and um, that's a war zone out there. I narrowed it down to these pearls, and I just couldn't decide. There was one that stuck out in my mind, but I thought, you know what, that's too risky. If I, if I spend all that money and it doesn't look good, if I don't like it, but, I, but at the same time I liked it, you know what I mean? But uh, I didn't want to take a chance, um, and that was holy guacamole green. Um, I just thought, man, look at that color. That would look really cool with the black wheels, the white walls. Of course, they're not really clean right now, but you know what I'm saying, like the, the light color with the dark, the black. Um, this model car that I have right here doesn't have the chrome the chrome inside the uh, the windows and the windshield. It just has the thick rubber black. You know, so you get the black seals, uh, the black wheels, and then a real light color just to contrast that. So anyway, um, you know, I don't make split decisions, or I don't make, uh, I go back and forth, you know, I'll, I'll say, yeah, that's definitely what I want, and then uh, I'll be like, well, maybe I want a blue. You know, it's not like I'm choosing between these two. I'm like going from this to this to up here, you know. So anyway, finally I said, you know what, if I don't order this paint, then I'm just going to sit here and, and bullshit around. So I ordered it. So, fast forward to now. Um, I started working on uh, the door. This door was real wavy at the bottom. Real bad. Um, right, it's a driver's side door right at the bottom. Shit. That's not done yet, obviously. Um, so I started on that um, last night. Spent a lot. I spent like five hours on that. I'm spending way too much time doing this stuff, but I spent like five hours just kind of doing that and then putting another skim coat on and doing that. Anyway, I got to get that knocked out. This door feels real smooth. I mean, I don't know, you know. Um, for me, for me, really, and I know it's it's not an excuse or and it's not uh, it's not a good kind of thing to go by, but it's it's money for me. Um, I'm taking my family on vacation for like three days uh, next week to Gatlinburg, so. I'm spending money there. I'm spending money on primer. I know I'm going to need more primer, which is going to cost more money. I'm not good at this, so I've been spending so much money on Bondo and or on uh, you know filler on the Evercoat, and uh, you know it's just money, money, money. Um, I'm trying to get by with uh, using what filler I have left, and I don't have enough to skim coat this entire door um, and do that and finish the fenders and that. I mean, you know, in the end, I might have to pony up some of the dough, but then I also have to think about the expenses to go into Greaserama, the gas, the hotel there, you know. So, yeah, it's kind of been stressing me out a little bit. Um, I could take that to Greaserama. That'd be cool. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's right. I got gotcha. you. What? <laughs> go inside. I'll be in a little bit. So, yeah, so that's been stressing me out, you know. Um, Damn, this garage is dirty already. So anyway, I got the paint. Um, you know, the holy guacamole. That's a little hint there of what I've been doing today. Um, this workbench. Got this workbench. Check that out, huh? My dad built this for me. He saw that I've been mixing paint and primer and stuff on the ground, so he built that for me uh, just to have out here. It's really cool. Um, I got these electrical boxes. Uh, they're industrial electrical boxes. Uh, I got those that didn't have anything to do with them because I, I was using that one there. And uh, he used some of his ends and milled this for me. Put my vise on there, which I never used before because I didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, my my grinder there, and I got this little number here. So, pretty awesome. Anyway, so today I decided to put some color on it, on the bottom of the deck lid, and this. From what I'm seeing on the camera right now, it doesn't do it justice. It's really, it looks, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to turn up on YouTube, but it looks yellow in the camera right now. It looks like a really light, 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 light green or yellow. Um, but what I'm seeing is, it's kind of darker here, and then you can see the pearl, the gold pearl here. You can see the pearl in there, the pearl up here. Um, really badass color. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, one of those colors where 
maybe not everybody will like it, you know, and that's why I got it. Um, I I just like it. I really like it. And if give you a little, you know, that up to the wheel there, it's just awesome. So uh, I wish I would have done this during the day, but I went to a Fourth of July party, so. Um, Oh, man, I, I hope that turns out okay. But you could just really... Uh, you could really get in there and see it. Yeah, hell. But, I mean, check this out. You know, I, I thought I would have... You know, orange peel and... Um, I was given advice to uh, on the pressure to see if you if you get to start getting peel and kind of turn it up a little bit. Um, I noticed it <clears throat> at the top of the deck lid. So I turned it up probably about four or five psi, and it, it to me, I mean, you know, to me it laid down really good. Um, it looks really good. It's better than I expected. Um, I did have some screw ups. I had that run there. See that all the way across there and there. Uh, there's another one. Oh, there's yeah, right there. Um, and you really can't let this run because it just builds that green up, and you can just really see it. Uh, and down there but I know what I did wrong there I was hanging too much I was you know slowing down here uh, I think I was putting the coats on too thick too on the tech sheet it said to put thin coats um, which I was trying to do but I, I started bumping up to like medium wet coats and um, maybe a little bit more maybe a wet coat and it, and it just kind of build up right in this area you know just right in there and but I know what I did wrong there. I wasn't too worried about dirt and that. Um, you know, I have that there, that there. Um, I did this in the pretty much, well, I had the garage door open, and um, at one point I had it out in the driveway, so it's not like I was taking, you know, super extra precautions, but um, but it turned out really good, you know. Uh, I'm really happy with the color, really, really, really happy with the color. There's some pearl there, right around there. Uh, it's real smooth. I mean, it's just, it's a lot smoother than I thought it would be. It's like, uh, oh man, it's awesome. Um, but I should have, I should have practiced, I should have stopped and practiced doing the runs, you know, sanding the runs out. Um, I think I could get that pretty well, though, if I actually do it on the car, you know, so that's not a big issue for me. Also, if I would have done it over again, I would have taped off this stuff here. Uh, which is not a big deal. I could actually always just pull it out and put some other one, you know, but I don't know. It's it's not that big of a deal to me. Like I said, it's underneath the truck. But it looks cool. looks cool. I didn't think I'd be able to spray pearl like that. Um, it's pretty awesome. Well, well, let's see. There we go. Uh, one second. There's so much shit in this garage. Turn my radio back on. Um, so, there we are. So, wow. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, I, I kind of needed that. Um, I've been, I don't know if I want to say discouraged, but, um, you know, just with a lot, all the stuff that's going on with, you know, the financial deal with this. I mean, I do have a family, you know. It's not like I'm going to not take them on vacation just because i got to get my car done. Um, and nobody has any interest in going to a car show with me. So, uh, I'm kind of alone on that one. But, um, I needed this just to get pumped about something, you know. Um, sanding all day and all night. Um... It kind of wears on you, you know. You guys know that. And there's no, there's no, there's no results. You know what I mean? There's results, but it doesn't look like it. At least not the people who come by to check it out. You know, it looks the same as it did before. It's a half sanded, you know, car with Bono all over it. Um, that door looks like it barely did shit. I put almost five hours into it. So I needed this just to A, see what the color was going to be like anyway, and then B, 
um, just make some kind of progress, you know what I mean? Something that I can show people. And actually it's more so for myself. Um, show myself what, what the end result would be. But it's awesome. Um, I could use another color with it, I guess. Um, it would be cool if, if I figure out some kind of design, black scallops or, or some kind of, maybe not black, but some kind of scallops with it would look really cool. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with the way it is right now. If I decide to do it later on, I'll do it. But, um, you know, you got to walk before you can run. you got to crawl before you can walk. Uh, kind of like Greg Porter called his guitar project his throwaway guitar or whatever he calls it. Um, it's kind of, that's kind of, and I'm not saying this, that's what this car is, but I've heard before, uh, I talked to a guy that built Volkswagens, uh, he, he built a Golf, an 85 Golf, with a monster turbo in it and this and that, now he's moved on to BMWs and, and whatnot, but he called the Golf his freshman, his freshman project. He said, and I went up from there, my next car is my sophomore, and now he's like, now I'm a senior. <laughs> so, that's kind of what I, I think this car is, you know, I need to get, uh, Need to get in the swing of things. Need to start learning what I can, what I am capable of, what I can do wrong, uh, how to fix my mistakes. So, um, but just seeing that color, I mean, just seeing that color up next to the car there, you just imagine what it's going to be like. Once again, it, that this camera does no justice to that color at all. It makes it look way too yellow. Um, Maybe, hopefully, it's different when it, when it goes up on YouTube, but it's awesome. So there we are. What are you doing? Yeah. So there we are. Um, all right. Close the door. Close it. Okay. I want the smoke to get in. Um, car's still running great. Uh, the interior is going to be my winter project, hopefully, if I'm not divorced by then. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I don't know how long this has uh, been running, but that's that's where I'm at. Um, man, that clear coat really came out nice. I'm really happy with that. Um, for me, you know what I mean? For me, it looks really good. Uh, I was expecting a lot more issues, but it's not there. So, all right, you guys take it easy. And uh, thanks for commenting. Uh, thanks for everyone that gave me suggestions and comments in the last video. Um, and uh, I appreciate your participation in this, and I'll see you guys later.